The base of an isosceles triangle is 10 feet, and the height increases at a rate of 2 feet per second. So we'll call that dh over dt is 2 feet per second. How fast is theta increasing when h is 12? So here is theta. We have an isosceles triangle, and we want to see, we want to find d theta over dt. And we're given that the height is 12. So if we draw a perpendicular here for the height, this is going to be 12. And this perpendicular is also a, a bisector. So these two sides are going to be congruent, which means this side is 5 and this side is 5 as well. So if we just focus on the first right triangle here on the left, we have 5 and 12. And this is theta. We can actually find what theta is because tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent, which means theta is inverse tangent of 12 over 5. And if you want, if you have your Pythagorean, theorem, Pythagorean triples memorized, this is 13. So this is a 5, 12, 13 triangle. If you don't have it memorized, you could just use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the hypotenuse. So this, it's not necessary to write this as a, a decimal. So we can actually use an exact form. So I'm going to show you how you can get away with without using a calculator here. So first, we know that tangent of theta is equal to the height over the base. Okay, so the height is h, base is 5. So now we're going to take the derivative of both sides. And you may be asking, why should I, why didn't I put h equals 12? Well, because I want to take advantage of dh dt. So I know dh over dt. I want to find d theta over dt. I don't have no mention of the base changing. The only thing we know is the angle changes and the height changes. So the base uh, it stays the same. So that's why we just leave it as 5, as a constant. Okay, so let's take the derivative of tangent theta. That's just secant squared theta d theta over t dt. And then h over 5 is just dh over dt times 1 fifth. Now, we know dh over d dt is 2. And theta we found out was inverse tangent of 12 over 5. So we're going to have secant squared of inverse tangent 12 over 5. d theta over dt is what we want to find out. And then <coughs> dh over dt is 2. And then at this point, we know that this is just an angle here, the inverse tangent of 12 over 5. So you're basically taking secant squared of theta here. Well, secant theta is 1 over cosine theta, which is 1 over adjacent over hypotenuse. And that's just 13 over 5. So you're just finding the reciprocal. Now all you have to do is square it because it's secant squared. That's 169 over 25, d theta over dt. And that's equal to 2 fifths. We're going to multiply both sides by 25 over 169. These are going to cancel. We're left with d theta over dt. Now, 5 and 25 just be 1 and 5. So that's 10 over 169. And we want to round this to two decimal places. So this will be 0 0.5. 0, 06, and that is our answer.